Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna go on Reddit and look at some fish tanks on r slash shitty aquariums. Does this count? Um, yeah, it looks like three, maybe four. I don't know, on the right here, this might be a reflection. Three goldfish and an oxalotl. That's absolutely insane. Uh, they both require cold water. I bet this tank is big enough for only one of these animals. You have a full grown oxalotl. That's insane. I don't know if you can keep these together. I have no idea, so put that in the comments, guys, because I have no idea if you can even keep these guys together. I've never seen this before. Okay, a little classic ingenuity. We've got the, the classic beta in a random ass spot. House appliance turned into fish tank situation. There's a live plant in there, it looks like. I mean, it looks live to me. It probably won't last very long. The beta fish probably won't last very long either. I don't like this. This is fish abuse. Guys, betta fish do not like to be in tiny jars. And although this is a very creative, this is just a creative way to abuse your betta fish. Look at that pleco. Don't buy plecostomus, guys. Um, don't buy common plecostomus unless you plan on putting it in a pond, okay? If it's a pond fish, let it get that big. It's a giant river fish, so don't put it in your tank unless you have a monster tank, but uh, get a bristle nose, you know? Get a little bristle nose. They get about, they get about that big, okay? The, the biggest they get is maybe six inches, so don't get a common plecostomus. It is, it's scary. Tank at the tax office. What am I even looking at? Okay, they've got some some sharks in here, some neons. I see a gourami. The community is not very cohesive. It's kind of a nightmare to look at. It's really ugly. Bruh, it's kind of an eyesore. Don't put this in a waiting room. Oh snap. Okay, this looks like a cup. Um, it's decor, but it looks like the same size as, as a drinking glass. We've got some water hyacinth at the top and a goldfish. It looks like just a comet goldfish in a cup. This thing's not gonna live very long, just a heads up. Goldfish get huge, okay? Any type of goldfish get huge. They, they need clean water and they're very gross little boys. They're gross little creatures. So you need a lot of water, you need to cycle that water. Lots of filtration. It looks like the hyacinth is setting out a lot of roots just because it's probably really gross in there with the little goldfish. We got a little vase from maybe Hobby Lobby. This was found on uh, Facebook Marketplace. We got, it looks like uh, three platies in there. Guys, no heater, no filtration. Oh my gosh, there's more. $10 each or 15 for both? Wait, what? Do not buy from these people, guys. At least this one has some sort of bubbler, has some sort of air aeration to it. And there's a betta in there. Okay, we got a little bikini bottom action going on and a little bowl. We've got a, a, a fancy goldfish in there. It looks like we've got a fancy goldfish. These guys get huge too. So don't do this. This is cringe, guys. Guys, this looks like an elevated uh, platform for the fish. So what you do is you take a, a glass container and you turn it upside down and you put it in the tank and you suck all the air out of it and it pulls the water all the way up to the top. And it's absolutely full of glowfish. I have no idea how big this tank is overall. Uh, maybe the tank is big enough to stock all these fish, but this is absolutely insane. Who sees this and, and says, yeah, this is this is what I wanted. Another classic Placostomus story. We've got a, a 39 gallon tank. We've got a giant Placostomus. Uh, it looks like some sort of carp goldfish, maybe a little koi fish in there. Um, it went from $150 to free. So honestly, that's an awesome deal for a 39 gallon and then some fish you have to rehome. This is what happens when you buy uh, a common pleco. They just get absolutely crazy big. <laughs> oh, man. In this video, the shark slammed into the sides a few times and then jumped out and died. Okay, so when you buy the little cute sharks at Petco and PetSmart, they get this big and they'll do stuff like this. They need a lot of room to swim back and forth and when you can't provide that, they go kind of cuckoo crazy, wacky, goofy mode on you. Don't buy 
Don't buy those sharks unless you have a giant monster tank, unfortunately. Here's a good finale for the video. What we've got here is, it looks like a, a five gallon tank, maybe a 10 gallon tank on a piano stand. So this is just a recipe for disaster. Uh, I hope no one bumps into this and completely destroys the whole tank system. It looks like there's no fish in there. I don't see any fish in there. If you see any fish in there, go ahead and put it in the comments and prove me wrong. But that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching, guys. This is a little uh, thing I want to try to do. I do want to like show some light onto these really bad fish tanks and how to really do them right. So it's a good thing to... Uh, to see what people are doing out there. Well, anyways, um, have a good one, guys. Bye.